Ever wonder why your loan just got more expensive or why your mortgage payments suddenly shot up? It's probably not your bank being shady. It's most likely because the central bank has increased their interest rates. When central banks increase their rates, it slows down the economy and makes the cost of borrowing more expensive. And if they go too far too fast, it can tip the economy into recession, resulting in fewer jobs and stock markets to fall. So why do central banks do this? It comes down to one word, inflation. Think of a central bank like the bank of banks, just like the average person who can earn interest by depositing their money into a savings account. Commercial banks can do the same by depositing any excess cash, also known as reserves, directly with the central bank to earn interest. So when central banks like the Fed, Bank of England, or the European Central Bank increase their rates, commercial banks may end up earning more from their reserves than lending out to the public in the form of mortgages, loans, or credit cards. So to balance this equation, commercial banks will also increase their rates to make lending worth their while. And when rates begin to increase, the cost of mortgages, loans, and all forms of lending starts becoming more expensive, leaving consumers with less to spend and therefore lowering the demand for goods and services in the market. In theory, this should stop businesses from increasing their prices and help bring inflation back under control. So in simple terms, base rate is a tool to control inflation. It's like tapping the brakes on a speeding economy. For example, take a look at inflation and base rate in UK between 1945 and 2011. What you'll notice is a positive correlation between these two figures, meaning more often than not, base rate will move in the same direction as inflation. So whenever you hear that the base rate has increased, it's most likely because the central bank is trying to slow down inflation. Sounds simple, right? But it's a delicate balance. If rates increase too quickly, they could slow the economy too much and tip it into recession. The other big risk being with reduced consumer demand and borrowing becoming more expensive, businesses are less likely to invest and expand, resulting in fewer jobs being created, or worse, businesses cutting jobs to compensate for declining growth. It can take as long as two years to see the full effects from interest rate changes, so no one can be certain whether the change will play out exactly as expected, or whether inflation would have stabilized anyway without any changes. But one thing's for sure, changes to the base rate will affect us all either directly or indirectly. For some it may be a positive change, but for others, perhaps not so much. 